Hey guys, today we'll learn about friction. Let's start learning about friction. Rewind back, zoop! When you were sliding, two objects were rubbing against each other, the slide and your body. A force occurred due to this. Friction is a force that holds back the movement of a sliding object. That's it. <laughs> friction is just that simple. Let's understand it with some examples. Hmm, what would happen if you tried to slide across the smooth floor? You probably would move smoothly, right? Let's see one more action. What if you tried to slide across a wooden rough floor? You probably wouldn't move much. Why is it easier to slide on the smooth surface floor than the rough surface floor? The answer is friction. Friction is a force that holds back the movement of any object. Mm, in this case, you, my friend. The rougher a surface, the more friction. The smoother a surface, the less friction. Now we know what friction is. Let's learn about types of friction. Rolling friction. Rolling friction occurs when a round surface like a ball or wheel rolls over a surface. Dry friction. Dry friction is a force that opposes the relative lateral motion of two solid surfaces in contact. Dry friction is subdivided into two types. First is kinetic friction between moving surfaces. See how this man is sliding the table while walking? And static friction. It's between non-moving surfaces. Fluid friction. Fluid friction is friction that occurs when objects move across or through a fluid. An example is swimming. Swimmer's body and the surface of the water. Although you normally hear about trying to eliminate or reduce friction, it actually has some important uses. Since friction is a resistance force that prevents or slows down the motion, it is necessary for many applications where you might want to hold items or do things and prevent slipping or sliding. Let's see some important uses of friction in our daily lives. Driving a vehicle on a surface. Walking on the road. Drilling a nail into the wall. Whoop! Sliding on a garden slide. Lighting a matchstick. Mmm. Now you know that friction is very important in our daily life. It also has some disadvantages. The main disadvantage of friction is that it produces heat in various parts of the machines. Now you know a lot about friction. Stay safe. Bye.